It happened again. Criminals took extreme measures to break into an Albuquerque business, leaving more in damages than what they stole. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen has the video of this latest incident and the shop owner's thoughts on the crime pattern. Jeannie. Madeline, the man seen in this video spent an hour trying to get into the CBD boutique. The owner says she's tired of all the problems in Knob Hill and is pleading for it to stop. At first glance, it appears it's just another day of work for Gina Lucero at the CBD boutique in Knob Hill. But she isn't usually here on Sundays. Broke into our store, um, didn't have enough time because the alarms are going off. So he just took the cash box and he did about $3,000 worth of damage. Early yesterday morning, Lucero says a man spent an hour prying his way into her holistic health store. He used a blowtorch and a car jack to get in through the security doors. Causing big damage to the shop. And once he got in, Lucero says he stole the cash register, which had less than $100 inside. I love Knob Hill. I love this area. But we really do need to do more to clean up the crime. Just last weekend, Q's Cakes and Sweets Boutique in Knob Hill also experienced an expensive break-in. Thieves got into the bakery through the bathroom, breaking a water line and flooding the store. They only took about $200. Earlier this weekend, vandals also shattered a glass window at Breve Crepes and Coffee in downtown Albuquerque. In that case, nothing was taken. The back-to-back -back incidents leave Lucero feeling helpless. Michael Thomas was just broken into a couple, I think a couple weeks ago. We had a lady around Christmas time that was bashing in the windows with a crowbar, just walking around, just vandalizing. Lucero is calling on officials to get the crime problem under control because the survival of local businesses is at stake. I think we're going to have to have a better tight-knit community in this area to get a grip on what's going on here.